Hello guys, welcome to HFV. Hallo Leute, willkommen bei HFV. Today we are traveling to Austria, to Vienna. Heute fahren wir nach Österreich, nach Wien. The stadium vlog is going to be in English. We were just greeting our native friends. Stadion vlog auf Englisch, vielleicht ab und zu ein paar deutsche Sätze. So guys, today's HFV journey is from the Hungarian capital Budapest to the Austrian capital Vienna. We are going to travel by train and by car because a good friend is picking us up at the Hungarian-Austrian border and after it in Vienna taking some public transport to today's venue. A conference league knockout playoff today, so a third place team from the Europa League group stage and the second place team from the conference league group stage. Today it means Rapid Wien against Vitesse. Rapid Wien finished third in the Europa League Group H and Vitesse finished second in the Conference League Group G. Both teams are considered a strong mid-table side in their domestic league currently because Rapid Wien is the fifth in the Austrian Bundesliga and Vitesse is the sixth in Eredivisie, the Dutch first division. Austrian record champions Rapid Wien were founded in 1899. They have 32 Austrian league titles and 14 Austrian cup titles. And they also have a German Bundesliga title and a German cup title from the 1930s and the 1940s. Back then, before the Second World War, the teams of Austria and Germany competed in the same league. Established in 1892, today's Dutch opponent has one Dutch cup title and two Dutch second division titles. You see me wearing a Rapid Wien jersey now. That's the case because there's a really strong friendship between Rapid Wien and my favorite club, which is Ferenc Varos from Budapest. While there are three main reasons for this friendship, the same colors, the same colors of the rivals and the same foundation year. There are also some fan scars and stickers made with both teams logo or name. I was also invited for today's game by a Rapid fan. So thank you very much for this. Today's venue is West Stadion, known as Allianz Stadion for sponsorship reasons. And it was opened in 2016, capacity of 28 thousand people. Okay, let's go to Vienna. We arrived in Hütteldorf, that's the name of the district where Rapid Wien plays and I got a nice match scarf as a present from my friend who invited me for this match so I'm really thankful for it. We started because of the 32 championship titles. That best stadion. Here we go. Schon Kramovac, die 22, Filip Stojkovic. 15 minutes to go on to kick off. There are not going to be so many fans today, about 10,000 because of the 2G in German, 2G in German it means geimpft und genesen, which means vaccinated and recovered. This is a rule here, so some of the people boycott the matches because not everyone is allowed to get in here because of the vaccination. So. That's why there are going to be so few people. And this is also the very first match in Austria this year where more than 2,000 people are allowed. By the way, this is one of the very first Conference League knockout matches. Actually, the, the first one, come on the green-white.
and match underway. Vitesse starts it. Chance in the very first minute and collects it at the far post. Rapid on the attack straight away. Great link up. And it's in! It's crazy! Come on! 33 seconds! Can't believe! next level especially because the last match I visited there was a goal after 13 seconds and now 33 I really can't believe and just before it Rapid almost conceded one and on the counter straight away they scored really close excellent start to the game guys couldn't wish for better Lewis the sector full they make all the noise. Strange scenes. Missed open goal. Everybody thought that it's already in, but it's not. Freistoß Rapid, 12. Minute. And the chance. 2-0 for Rapid. Was für eine Aktion. Junior after 60 minutes. Yes. What a start to this match. We test a chance now. Goal kick. Rapid on the attack. End of the 28th minute. Rapid dominates the game. They didn't have as many shots on target as in the first minute, but they done half of the job with these two goals. Obviously, if they get one back, Vitesse, it's going to be tied then. But otherwise, uh, well, this is for another to, to make things clearer. 30th minute, strong whistling. Vitesse free kick, keepers ball. And he attacked the keeper, so it's a free kick for Rapid. And Rapid on the attack. Chance to get the shot away. Yeah. Two additional minutes at the end of the first half. All time 2-0. Two, two goal lead for the home team after the first 20 minutes. Obviously we didn't get an as tense play afterwards, but still they didn't concede. They had chance for uh, for Sweeney as well, of course. Well, uh, obviously it's the kind of a game you get after two quick goals. Hoping to get a uh, good play in the second half as well, because it was a bit sloppy after the first half of the first half. So we'll see. But definitely Rapid is in a very good position, but things can still be curious when they concede a goal. So, we'll see. Side. It's in, but it's offside. And they move it to the right side. Flat cross. Great save again. Crossbar hit. We were really 
close to Sweden here, really, really close. Gelb rot, Leute. Wird jetzt viel schwieriger, 3 zu 0 zu machen. Wird das say Corner 68th Minute. Really good defending. Two more wasn't far there. 10,700 people visited today's match. Chance for Vitesse now. 2 1. They got one back now. This was also in the game, must say. Seventy fifth minute. That's the rapid quarter hour. Because earlier they used to score most of their goals after the seventy fifth minute. What a save. It's not a draw or a Vitesse lead by now. Thanks to the rapid keeper. Only to him. A chance to get the cross in. Keepers ball. Current scores from some Europa League matches are Barcelona, Napoli 1-1. One, one. And Borussia Dortmund Rangers 1-4. Seven minutes of additional time. Nobody understands here why. It's pretty illogical. Chance survived. Oh no, mate. Okay. okay. 20 seconds left for the seven additional minutes. It's over. Rapid beat wins at home 2-1. It's gonna be a hard task next week away though. But made the atmosphere with those two early goals. Definitely. Spectacular. questionable whether this one goal margin is going to be enough for Rapid next week in the Netherlands to qualify to the round of 16. The first half was obviously Rapid's and the second one was rather the half of Vitesse and they could have easily clinched the equalizer as well. The Rapid fan who invited me for today's match actually presented me with really really nice memorabilia. For example the match scarf you just see in the background next to the football pillow and also a rapid pennant which is really nice so thank you a lot thomas for today it was uh, an excellent experience i really appreciate your invitation thank you guys for accompanying hfv for today's journey i hope you enjoyed it see you next time take care goodbye